back to some shade here. It's all and I don't think you'll be able to tell. I mean, you'll tell that we welded down here and stuff like that. But that's okay. Um. Yeah, so I gotta go power wash it one more time. Um. Here's what the bottom side looks like. All done. And here's the top. And now I'm gonna repaint it. Or, well, after I wash it, I'm gonna tape off all the stickers. There's one here, one here, and one over there. And then I'm gonna tape those off and then repaint it. And I gotta take off my wheels. And then I'll get at it, but I'm gonna get the tractor and take her over and power wash her. Get back with you after I'm done power washing. Okay, so I got it all washed up. I did the other side too. And now, in case you are wondering what this is for, so you see down there, there's a, you can't, there's a line down there, so the when you hook up your hose to it, you screw down there, and then it shoots, there's a little uh, metal thing going across this way, so it shoots water in there hard. So in case you got this stuff, stuck up on there it won't come off it's really stuck up on there it will break a piece off then you can get your tools on there and rip all this stuff off of there so yeah the water will spray on it from the top side and then it will fall off and then you can get hands up there to get the rest of the stuff off because this it like gets stuck up there but yeah, that's what that's for. Guess you're wondering. It just screws right onto here. But yeah. Now, I'm gonna spray off one last time since I had to tip it over to uh, wash it. But just, uh, most of the stuff's off so I just gotta rinse it off real fast. And then let it dry and then paint it right here. Uh, you can tell where we welded on the other side. It made this huge circle. But this is smooth. And yeah, there's some welds down here, but that uh, that's those were there from the factory. We added a little bit to brace it back up, but like on the other wheel is the same thing. So you won't be able to notice there. And then repaint it and hopefully you won't be able to tell. I mean, if you looked under here, you'd be able to notice, but that's fine. Um yeah. So Gotta rinse it off and then I'm gonna start painting, taping, then painting. Okay, so it's all dried off and I got some masking tape. And I'm gonna take off, tape off these stickers. And I really want to be precise so that I don't like tape off more than the, just the sticker. And then I paint and then there's some uh, old paint still showing. So I have scissors to make everything very precise. I'm going to cut this edge flat. There you here to cut this because the tape is too wide for the sticker there we go now, this careful, or I said this careful because the sticker says be careful. This sticker, now I got a tape. Oh.
I already got a masking tape ball. And I haven't even painted yet. Okay, and I'm just gonna overlap this one so I don't have to cut it. Okay, the second one's done. See, I just overlapped it so I didn't have to cut another strip the same width. Now I gotta pick up my tape. And there's one more sticker. It's this one. Oh, I got some grass on there now. Oh, a lot. Cut this piece off. There we go. Okay, this one's narrow again. And here's this one. Now, uh, I'm gonna paint. So I gotta take care of my scissors and tape and I'll get back with you guys. Okay, so I'm setting my phone back because I don't know about you guys, but I don't want paint on my phone. So. Making sure all my stickers are all good. And we're ready. Is there any paint coming out of this? I'm gonna test it right here real quick. Okay, there is. I'm not going crazy. I guess it's just blending. There it goes. So here's a little comparison to the new paint and the old paint. Um, yeah, so there's a little bit of difference there, but I think we matched her pretty good. Because you gotta remember this paint's also faded. The old paint. Gonna paint over my oh I forgot to take my tires off. Okay, almost just painted my tires. Uh, I gotta grab I was just about to paint my weld. I was just about to paint my weld. I totally forgot to take my wheels off. Okay, so this is not coming off. I'm gonna try the other one. Oh! I painted this wheel. That's what I didn't want to happen. Okay, so I accidentally painted my wheel. Accidents happen. I'm just gonna have to repaint it black. 
with some black paint. But, um, these are not coming off, so I'm gonna go grab the tape and then tape my wheels. Okay, so I accidentally painted this wheel. You can see a little bit right there. I'm gonna paint the inside of these wheels actually. Um, cause they, they look like they could use some paint and I'm just now realizing I have to tape this off. But I, I'm gonna paint the inside, but not the outside. But yeah, so I accidentally painted a little bit there. That's okay, mistakes happen. I'm just gonna have to repaint it with some black paint. But yeah, I'm gonna get some tape and tape this off. And yeah. Be back with you guys. Er, yeah, be back. Okay, so I'm all done uh, taping off the wheels. Now I'm gonna start painting again. I'm gonna paint where I rolled it and grind it. Whoa. A little bit of breeze. Okay, so I've decided just to paint the top because I don't have enough paint to do the bottom. And plus, I was talking to my dad, and he said as soon as I start mowing grass. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna wear right off. So I'm just not gonna paint the bottom. Which you don't even see that. So yeah. But. So you can still kind of see my welds. But after a couple more coats, I think it'll be less noticeable. I don't know. But like, it's less noticeable. Right now. See. Walking by and it's just. Okay, so it's the next day, and it looks good. I have to set it back up on my saw horses. I brought it in because it was supposed to rain today, but it's not, so that's good. Uh, I've decided not to paint the bottom side and just do the top again, put another coat, because it's just going to wear off anyways. And so, yeah, um, but I did paint a little bit on the inside, so if you're walking by and you've seen in there that y you've seen it's painted. See, I painted, like, so far up into there. 
Just to let every rock and rider look and see. Oh, yeah, it is pink, but it's not. Anyways, um, yeah. But it looks good. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to get back up in the sawhorses and do another coat on the top. But, and then I'm going to take off my, all my tape and see how it looks. I'm just looking. There's a little bit of water on it. I don't know what that's from, but I'll wipe that off. But, yeah. See ya, you guys, once I have all enough on saw horses. It's looking pretty good, but um, you can see, like, spots where it could be. Can't really tell, but right there, it's, like, all a little bit, like, not as... It's the old paint. You can kind of tell. Didn't get the best coat right there. But it's looking good. And so, one more coat and that should, it should be good. And like I said before, I'm not doing the bottom. Do I have enough paint? I could buy more, but like, I, I don't know. Um, yeah. And then, like I said, we got, I did a little bit in here. And then all that back there is just the original stuff. I just did a little bit far back in there. Just that, uh, like, if you're just walking by and you glance, like, oh yeah, that's painted. But none of that stuff is. Yeah. And just so, like, this, like, trim right here, that's all painted. So it looks better. But yeah, so I'm gonna get painting. Um, there was a little bit of oil right here. And what I did was I soaked it up first, and then I took some uh, denatured alcohol. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's right up here. I took a rag, soaked it up first, and then I took this stuff and uh, took a rag, put a little bit on my rag, and it like it like cleaned it up so that way the paint actually sticks to it. And yeah, so I'm gonna get paint now. There's a jet or something over me. Can't see it though, but yeah. I'm gonna finish up what's left in my can, my can from last night. second coat is really going to bring the shine out in this. It's really going to look good. Get another cover and it will look really good.
still going. Man, it is empty, but it's still going. I think she's all out. All right, I'm going to take off the tape now. You can see there's a little, a little bit of the old paint, but I'm pretty good. Or, I'm pretty satisfied with what I have. Okay, again, there's a little bit there. But there again, but I'm pretty satisfied again with what I have. Now the last sticker, and then I gotta take off the wheels. Okay, I did not realize. There's a large chunk there. Not to have peace with how this one turned out, but it's whatever. This thing's old. But yeah, it looks pretty good with its stickers on there. And yeah, so now I just gotta take off the ones on the tape. And I've decided not to paint this, uh, the wheel black again uh because we're talking me and my dad and it will probably roll off like or rub off because it's a, it's on a wheel you know so i'm just gonna leave it I need to like, lift it up a little bit. I could like set it up here. Or maybe I should use a block of wood. Hold up. Is that? No. Alright, I'm just gonna. There we go. Just set it on there. Set up my tripod. Figure out where I started taping this monstrosity. Oh, dang it. So here it is where I painted on accident. 
Um, so Dad said it'll wear off, so yeah, I'm just gonna let her go. Hopefully it will. On the grass and stuff, you know, hitting it, it'll wear off. That's what also why I'm not painting the bottom, like I said, because the grass hitting it and just hitting it a lot and a lot and a lot, it just builds up and it, it wears the paint off fast. That's why I'm not painting the bottom. Now time on the front wheel. First. Let's put that down there. Ah, I can't paint my hands. Um. Okay. I'm already getting dirt on it. I did mean to paint this. I did not mean for this to happen though. The sides I wanted to paint. Oh, also, I'm very pleased that I decided to paint the inside of my back wheels. This, uh, like can't really tell but it looks a lot better since I painted the inside it, it it really does they used to be rusty and so I'm very happy that I decided to do that all right this is what this one looks like and this is what this looks like There we go. Um, so yeah, this is what the inside of the wheels look like. I really like that, and honestly, I'm thinking about doing that to the inside. Because I think it would look a lot better. Hmm. This side doesn't look that bad, the silver. But... Sides all rusty, you know. I'm very happy that I painted the insides. They look really cool. I mean, you don't see those. You see the outside. So, I don't know. Comment down below if I should paint the outsides of the rims in the next video. Because I still have a leftover can, so I could do it. But here's what it looks like. I'm very happy with how it turned out. I like it so um that's it for this video i'm not gonna put it on right now so i gotta let it dry 
And because I don't really want the mower deck on it right now. Because I'm not mowing or anything. And I'm actually rolling the yard. So it becomes smoother. So it's just kind of a hassle having it on there. You go over bumps, you know. It's going, oh, it's making noises from, you know, going over bumps. So this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Um... Yeah, comment down below what I should do next, what I should repaint next, because it's already run and it runs good. So, uh, now it's just repainting everything to its original tannish color. I have headlights for this, so that might be, I don't know, might be in the next video. But, yeah, comment down below what I should do, what I should repaint next. Thank you for watching.